ठीक है पैरिटी एक्सक्लूडिंग पैरिटी हम बात कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज वन टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज द ब्लॉक ऑफ डेटा विच वी वॉन्ट टू सेंड ओवर टू एल अदर कंप्यूटर वी आर सेंडर और ट्रांसमीटर सो वॉट सिस्टम डिस्टम विल एड ऑल दीज थ्री रोज ऑफ बिट्स ओके सो has become 198 okay 198 so that would be okay. 198 okay so this is 198 this whole byte will be sent from one computer to the next the receiver will keep this byte separate and reperforms the sum operation finds its own sum and checks it with the sum that is received and checks it with the sum that is received so both sender and receiver would have found their own sum if there was any error during the data transmission the sum at the receiver's end will get changed and receiver would know that there was an error during the data transfer and data is corrupted so it will ask the sender to resend it okay now there might be several questions like sir maybe different combination will produce the same number and all so this is one of the most simplistic form of teaching checksum checksum is quite complex it's not like what we have done now okay so there is one thing that you have to basically keep in mind this sum if it is less than or equal to 255 then it is accommodated in 8 bits if this sum goes beyond that for example if it is z which is 90 y which is 89 and x which is 88 will not give you any number which is within 255 range so that number will be increased इन दैट केस तो चेकसम में कुछ एडिशनल चीजें चलेंगी ठीक है अब सबसे पहले क्या चलेगा लेट से हमारे पास जो नंबर है वो आ गया ये जो टोटल आ गया टोटल ये हमारे पास क्या आ गया ये टोटल हमारे पास आ गया Two sixty-seven. So this is basically greater than two fifty-five. So this is two sixty-seven. We will call it x. So x is now two sixty-seven. हम क्या करेंगे? हम सबसे पहले divide करेंगे the sum x of the bytes by two fifty-six. So we will divide it by two fifty-six. Okay. So divide by two fifty-six. ये हमारे पास जो भी नंबर बनेगा वी विल राउंड दैट डाउन टू द नियरेस्ट वर्ल्ड नंबर राउंड डाउन सो ये हमारे पास बन रहा है 1.043 अब हम इसको राउंड डाउन करेंगे और इसको असाइन कर देंगे वाई को विच इज वन ठीक है अब फिर हम क्या करेंगे हम एक जेड बनाएंगे विच इज वाई इन टू टू फिफ्टी सिक्स Z 
it is y into 256. ठीक है अब हमें डिफरेंस निकालना है y is equal to 2, y into 256 remains 256. अब हमने difference निकालना है. Difference क्या होगा? Difference होगा x minus z. तो वो कितना बन गया? x is what? 267. z is what? 256. 267 minus 256. That is 11. Now, this 11 is the checksum. Now, this 11 will be used as the checksum. So, as chat, Amari Puri Kahani is cheeseke gird boom rahi hai. K hum data from one computer to another computer page. Hai. If the data while it is being transferred, got corrupted, we should have ways to find it out, which is very verification. So the use of parity byte is to make sure that the, that the data that is transferred in block parity had no corruption while it was being transferred. That's it. So when we take block parity, we have additional parity byte. To so why do we divide by 256? This is standard because dividing by 256 will be will give you a remainder from 0 to 255. That is why we divide by 256. And then we round down towards the nearest whole number. Okay. So if if check sum is or let's call it if sum is within 2 to power 8 range then it is the check sum if the sum is greater than 255 or 2 to power 8 range, which is 256 from 0 to 255, then we divide sum by 256. Round down the answer to the nearest whole number. Then we multiply by two fifty six. Subtract that from X. Result is checksum. It will always be within 255 range because we use the factor of 256. All right. 